Hi everyone, happy Friday. This week I am reading my poem, Mars. It's brand new and it appears in the latest issue of No Dear Magazine, which is a collaboration with the People's Vigil. Get a copy. It is profound, all the things that are happening in here and I am honored to be in company and conversation with everyone involved. This is called Mars and it begins with an epigraph. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. Audre Lorde. One, I tell my therapist, I've written a letter to Mars, the planet of battle and thrust. I've placed it on my altar like Chani said on the podcast in her app, for the new moon. Mars is in my 10th house of career and public life right next to my Gemini sun. Three days ago, I was lying in bed teetering on a depression flare up edge when I realized what it all meant. I mean, it's obvious what I am to the outside, a poet, a writer, a performer with a sharp and piercing tongue, Aggression, passion, that is how I command a room, a page, a stage, but then it hits. That which I seem to have missed, the way I fling that passion back. The reason I was under those covers, the reason I could not get out of bed on a Monday, a week after an insurrection, I had been working for a month, nonstop deadlines, barely a break, as if waging a war upon myself. A. While writing this poem, I stop to wash a plate. I hold it with my fist. I drop it through the rack. A piece chips off and upwards nicks my cheek. This morning, I hit my head on the edge of the bathroom sink while leaning down to grab a ball of hair. I already got a concussion in June. I'm either moving too quickly or trying too hard to clean up in a moment that might be messy. Two. In my letter, I tell Mars that I understand. My platform and tenacity helps keep them safe, but the force back inwards, it's making me unwell. I wager that if Mars will maybe ease up on me, slow down this unrelenting pace, we might both get what we want. We might both get to win. B, while writing this poem, I take a break to join the conversation on Clubhouse for which Courtney pinged me. Self-care or selfish, it is called. Everyone is speaking to my day. People are speaking to my truths. A therapist talks about white supremacy culture. A person shares what they inherited from their parents about work. Another talks about self-care as a revolutionary act. Now it's my turn. I had been planning to bring up Audre Lorde, so I do. I say I took a break from writing a poem about white supremacy culture and patriarchy and capitalism and the way it all shows up in my body, in the ways that I push myself to overwork, that I am both enabling oppression and experiencing it too, that I balance both my privilege and the traumas that I carry from which I seek to heal, that maybe all the magic, all the timing is more powerful than the false systems we have made to break and tear us down, to keep us all apart. Three, how much more can a body be asked to give, to take, take on, to take on what isn't theirs, to hold, to hold in the things for which it never had a choice, and how Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel said to march is to pray with our feet, how the revelatory act of a body traversing a street, standing on the steps, crossing over a bridge, how it too is self-care, how the more we unravel from these systems of perfection, the more imperfectly perfect this planet can become. See, while writing this poem, I think about fists, what it means to thrust it upwards, what it means to march it forwards, what it means to hold it right there next to the sun, what it means to win. Thank you.